Okay, everybody, we're back on the layout. We're going to do some updates today. Um, I just laid down a lot of glue all in this area and glued all of this part here out. And, uh, and then down the road here, all of this area here has been uh, glued and, and taken care of there. Now, Bob and Walter's going to be working on some more LEDs and um, the turnouts over there. Uh, in fact, that's going to be down in this area here. The lights and the turnouts really made it uh, simple to yeah, run the train, knowing which way to go yeah. on these switches or which way the switch was thrown. So it really worked out really well. Uh, you might have seen my latest one with my grandson here and where we uh, ran the train and tested the track out. Today, we're going to work on this right here. One of our guys, Jim, is in the hospital today. He won't be with us, but we'll only give him a few days to get well to get back over here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this mountain range here, and I call them mountain ranges, it's just more or less a really rough and hilly land through this area. It's going to, I'm going to be working on that, and I'll take some videos that I do as I go. Um, Got the sculpture mold. We got paper, newspaper underneath it. That's what I had on a previous video. Um, now we took the sculpture mold. Of course, we put it over it. And I also took a lot of the burrs and things. I, I popped them off there. That was, you know, little points that were sticking up. So we took care of that. And now we're going to put the first coat on, which is the brown. And that'll give it one base color through this whole thing here. And as soon as I get that on there, see it down close, I will um, be taking a video as, uh, as we progress through this mountain range. Okay. Okay, here's where we stand so far. You know, here's what the mountain range looked like. And now you're getting into the areas where I put the base coat on it, as you can see. And I will continue to go up until I cover all of it. So that's where we're coming along so far. Okay, paint, the base coat is on these mountains now, as you can okay. see. Uh, that's what they look see. like when they're maybe from I can, white uh, to maybe that. Maybe I can move that. So you say that was right, that way. Yeah. This brown the color in the face. Not triggering it. And now I'll start adding well, wait a Let me, uh, um, here's the thrower. some I put the thrower? various the thrower. levels of different oh, colors to kind of make it pop just a little I'm bit. So we'll see how that goes. That. And uh, so that's how we are right there. now. Unscrew that and try okay. After a little mixture of some reds, uh, black, yeah. and brown, I come over to color like that, which is barely just dab it on, on the colors here on the mountain just to give it a little color and then that'll be another base and then we'll go over that again um, kind of like what it would look like here and, so, uh, and now I'm going to go over with a different color and um, I'll probably do a spray on it and we'll see what color I'm going to pick for that Okay, got some red tones to it, and now I'm going to start using some sand, and I'm going to put a kind of a basic level of sand all around through here, around the edges and all, and then I'll put some like rock and um, and take it from there, one step at a time. So right now I'm putting a base of sand along the side of here, and down the road it'll look more like like this, but for right now, that's the next step, okay? Here we go. Okay, what we did now, we put the base of sand down well, and ran it up right, right against the mountains okay. there, as you can see, right, and uh, I put the power on. come down around here a little bit better. So you got a little bit of color in the mountain and you have the sand base here. Now there is supposed to be probably there's going to be something go in here later, so what we'll do is we'll probably either lay it right on the base on the sand, or we have to scrape it off. But it's kind of finishing it up just a little bit here. 
Now the next step is I'm going to take it looks like these rocks here and uh, I'm going to take this and play it play it right along the various range of the mountains because obviously at the base of a mountain you have stones and rocks and that kind of stuff which should look like something like come down here a minute like this here you can see the mountains the, the rocks laying next to the the uh, railroad tracks well that's what that's going to look like back there so back here this is what it looks like so far and we'll continue on from here and I'll be back okay now I've taken some of the rocks that we made here this is actually out of styrofoam and believe it or not how we came up with these small pieces like this is out of the um, vacuum sweeper. Our canister, when we opened it up, we decided to take a look and see if we could find some small pieces. And of course, this is what we kind of sucked up on the uh, lay train layout. So we use them as rocks. And if you notice now, there is does look like a difference here. See them in here. And I'll double check it again. You're seeing this from right up above it, though. But you can see okay. the rocks being laid out, I'll throw it. and that's what it looks like. Let's take a look at it from this angle. Yeah, wait a minute here. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take a real quick a reddish type rust color spray and kind of spray yes. over this area because it make these rocks just a little bit more like the actual mountains themselves. Yep. That'll be the next step. After that is that we'll be putting, I'll be putting uh, some type of a greenery and lay some greenery in there and go from there. So, I gotta get up there and so look here goes. Above. Okay. After taking some primer, Rudy Brown, and you can see some of the rocks now are colored in the same somewhat color as the. Um, is the mountain itself, the red. You gotta remember this is also the southwest of the United States, which is kind of rough and, uh, for those who don't know, rough and uh, desert and that kind of a, you can see the different colors in the rock in here. So actually what I have is a mixture of kind of a rock taken from the area over there and mix it in with this one here, plus a little bit more of this mountain type rock. Okay, now I'm going to start adding a little bit more different colors to the area here and probably a little more plant life and that kind of stuff, ground cover. And we'll start making things pop. And then I'm not done with the mountain itself, though. Uh, that mountain is going to be these hills or whatever you want to call it. They're going to be actually different colors than what you see. So right now I'm working around the mountain, and then I'll come back. And then eventually what I'll be doing is actually going and putting in, um, we have to go and put the ballast in the rail right along this, this area right here. So right now let's change the color. Let's put a little greenery in there, a little uh, color, and we'll go from there. Okay. Yep. Both. Okay. Okay. So add a little more of a green tint to the grass, as you may see in there. Uh, added some small rocks, like it's on this side. And I added them also in this area here, as you can see. It's red. And the desert is colorful. Oh, I guess I should just and make sure. And started in this one area. It's first time really we started sure putting in some type of a color uh, undergrowth to put in there. Nine. And this is what it kind of looks like. I'm going to hang over here. Okay, it's green. Well, that was correct. I might yep. adjust some of these the colors. Um, a little bit, but right now this is what I'm going to leave it at at this moment. Now I'm going to come back and do the layout, I'll do the um, um, you know the 
track here. It's going to work on that and get something moving on that and get some ballast in there. And again, this might seem kind of bare to you again, like I said earlier. Oh, you just I'm just going to leave it that way because I think somebody or something's going to go in there, probably some type of buildings or houses, because that really is supposed to be the town here. And that's the main track going through the okay. middle of town. So, okay. that's what she looks like. Let's see if I can get a picture down below here, kind of from that angle. And I swing it around, look down the track, and that's what it's going to look like. And again, as I mentioned too, these are not done. I'm going to be putting, adding various types of colors to that. And um, make them good. hop just a little bit. Right. So yep. let me make sure it's switched. All right. So anyway, next is uh, we're going to take this, and you see it right now. If we're going to start adding some ballast to this here, and how I normally do that is that I will take glue, and I glue, put glue on the edges of the road bed. Let's see if I can get this right. And then I put glue on this road bed on this side over here. Because if you don't. Usually when you put the uh, ballast on it, it just rolls right off the edge of it. This way here, putting glue on there first will make it stick. And then I'll put the sides on there, and then I'll come with the ballast on here. And then you'll see how I, uh, I brush it in and get it even. So, here it goes. Okay, I think we got it here for today. Uh, as you can see where the train, where the track um, is not balanced, and then I started balancing right, right balancing there. right there, did and did all the way down. Did you wet, did you wet this down No. There? Oh yeah, that's good. Um, anyway, so this is what it looks like here today. We got a train coming. So the ballast is all done. Now I need to do is we're going to spray it with water, and then I'm going to lay glue down on everything, and then we should have a, um, a mountain range here with some color and with the ballast track. Actually, we are using a different color ballast this time. As you can see, my ballast up here is more of a gray color here, and I went with a brown. Uh, it's a um, buff medium ballast. Just because. I mean, there's no reason to it. I just wanted something different through here. And I think it really matches the landscape very, very well. So. I'm going to stop on this right now, and again, like I said, we'll come back and then we'll be highlighting. We'll be highlighting all the mountain tops and doing different color and making them really, uh, really stand out. Right now, it's somewhat dull looking, and um, and we'll fix that. And over here, of course, you're not going to be able to see it because of. Bob and Walter was working under the table. As you can, I don't know if you can see the lights, but we added another switch or a couple, another switch and more uh, LEDs over there, which really helps out. So when you run the train, I can look at the lights and tell me which is on, which is the right way to go, and vice versa. Yeah, red lights down. So anyway, we're going to go ahead. It looks like we're going to run the train for a little while and um, test out the track and see if it's okay. Let us leave. And that's it. Glad you all took time and listened to the video. Until next time, so long now.